Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see if it's working yet. It's kind of working. There it goes. Hello, everybody. I should probably just realize what I should do. I've been I've been needing to get a more a better capture card. I've been trying to do that, but uh, I have to work with what I have. Anyway, playing Cyberpunk. This is episode two. Um, let's see how it plays. Let's see how buggy it is. This is on an Xbox One S, so nothing crazy. Sweet, it's loading. Okay, cool. So it's already playing a lot better. They had an update that came out today, and uh, it's already a lot smoother than it was before. <laughs> that was a little weird, but I don't know if you saw that. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, Night City. NCPD! Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! For cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. Let's not go to the cops. Close the damn borders. That's what I'd do. Too many bottom feeders pouring in from shitholes you never even heard of. A lot of folks leaving Night City too. When danger lurks. Mostly the ones that can't stand. The team will be there. But now I know why NC Border Patrol turned Stutter there. Hey, yo, B. How about a round or two? What do you say? Just, just, just How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of B. <laughs> so, how about it? No, thank you. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. So yeah, there's a little stutters here and there still. It's not perfect, it's still rough around the edges. But uh, I've actually not had a terrible time still.
it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with explosive So that bottom right floats. one looks kind of crappy, the but they all look weird. Anyway. Again, Xbox One S, not uh, even not even Xbox One X. Um, definitely not the series because I don't have money for that. And I can't even get it if I want. We wish you a safe and fun Mudsort. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What oh, okay. the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you... Me and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to Max Tech. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead. Be the hero. Save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? Is this guy drinking while talking? That's very interesting. For a second, there was a, a bug right there. I almost thought I, I crashed the game. It got a little choppy right here. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Now, so now let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Guys up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I say. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. So this is running perfectly fine Look, so far. V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. Yeah, and it looks ain't as bad good, as you actually. think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. 
Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Not really, no. It's always the same story. If you land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nip between for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, he's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Okay, cool. All right. I'm glad. It's a top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. I didn't know how to break. Shit. Let's go. Let's go around. Okay, so that was a little weird. So there's a little bit of jank there, but not terrible. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, or your eyes do not belong to you, or rather. What, what did you see that? What was that? That person just disappeared. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joy, your worry, your life. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. That makes for easier, man. Vicky, surprise every...
So, through a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous, massive procedure, which can only be performed by qual uh, by specifically some qualified specialist rubber docs. There are several rubber docs uh, throughout operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select a few, select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list, and enjoy your new abilities. Cool. The old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Lee. Oh wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides <laughs> that, how are things? Uh, uh, looking to upgrade heart. Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Thought that was gonna be for me. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants and mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can uh, improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyborg is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyber safely. Cyborg safely. There you go. Huh. Well, I only have like, uh, Okay, I, I guess I'll get that one. Ah, uh, crap. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. 
lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. <laughs> Explanation for what's going on in the game. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Skinny people with the uh, cyborg can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled uh, net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Okay. For the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Okay, so it's basically I get a bunch of bounties. You can identify these wanted pe persons with their scanner. Since all of the wanted dead are, are since all are wanted dead are alive, the methods you use to uh, to claim your ward is are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. All right, Vic. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. It's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. 
There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be running okay. I don't, you know, not, nothing game breaking. Is this Dex? Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? somebody or you fizzle out into nothing night city don't let you choose oh but it does see in my line of work i choose to be mr chill but folk who try to take advantage well they see the beast inside all right listen close scanning a serious job now playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab on Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. <laughs> Yours truly some will of be those remote. textures on the roof T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. 
Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Yeah, there's this weird, like, uh... Why me? But couldn't someone else... I... One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? There's this weird... sheen that's on the certain textures. It's kind of odd. It's not... Later now. Terrible, though. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Clint will want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? What's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. I don't think I should have done that. Actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. No. Ah, fuck. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I just screwed myself on this one.
Nah, she won't be causing you any more problems. She's right away the sun don't shine. <laughs> yeah, drowsy. She's coming oh. on it too. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Why did it change? Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yes. That'd be me. Okay. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? <laughs> yep. Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. Dude, why don't you believe me? Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Him, you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say?
Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Uh, okay, so this is definitely a... Some shards you find in the world will contain information hidden behind uh, data encryption measures to decrypt the shard. First, either open it through notifications when you uh, acquire it, or you'll find the shard tab under journal in the main menu. Then select crack security to unlock its secrets. Okay. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This girl's already good as dead! We can't take you down with her! Saw a little bit of a hiccup there, but let's... Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. <laughs> that was a bad, a bad one. Driving feels like you're uh, driving a, a boat.
I expect a lot of uh, closed right now. Okay. So I just have to wait like a, a few minutes here. Okay. I don't do small talk. Go find someone else. Okay. Does that guy look? <laughs> he looks okay, I guess. I like how the uh, lips don't move. Are you okay? It doesn't look consensual. Llegaste hace poco? Welcome, welcome. I think I just saved you, lady. Swallow a fly. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Sorry, I got I got mail. So okay, the load times are terrible, but that's last gen right there. It's gonna take a while. So uh, I don't have the strength yet to take these guys on. They're pretty tough. So the lips aren't moving. <laughs> Even for, uh, like I said, base console, it's not, there's still people and in, in, in they're out and about, so it's, it's not great. It's definitely not as good as uh, um, Grand Theft Auto V even, and the graphics are kind of okay, but it's not unplayable. That's the thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead spunk! Whoa, lady. I don't know what that means. Oh, 
Hey. I'll get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Just wait. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. What can a horny girl like me? Nothing, Trent. Really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on... Long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. 
Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yuri Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. What else you know about Yorinobu? <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance done. and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, Though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always right walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Well, what do you think? Well, what do you think? Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. 
think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, it can be a yeah, very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't Would grasp. You like anything exactly else? Exactly what you need. I, uh, so what's on the tape? It's a bit... Yorinobu's suite. Relax. The glorious oh. interior. You'll need to locate the relic. Yourself. Hope I grab. There's enough detail to make that possible. Want me to kick your ass? Hmm. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Uh-huh. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, uh -huh. not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Mm. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Piled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Oh, sorry. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. So I'm not talking too much, I'm just like enthralled, but also I had to take care of business. So I'll say again, this definitely, definitely uh, playable Xbox One S, not even the uh, One X, not even any of the series. Just a pretty um, base system, and it's it's not terrible. Got to create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, 
spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. I need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. So th this is the part where they had some seizure issues, and uh, they've since then uh, since fixed it with the updates. Um, it's performance-wise again, not getting bad performance at all. It seems to be going well. Again, all I have is an Xbox One S, no late hardware. There's a little hiccups here and there, <laughs> like when I drove that one time it froze. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh. Now! Before I blow your fucking head off! All right. That ran really smooth, you know, but this is early on, so I'm only like hour two and 15 minutes in. Um, I did the first hour yesterday or, or Friday, doing the second hour today. Um, some issues here and there. Um, I haven't experienced these. Uh, I, I've experienced a couple of low frame rates, but it's luckily not throughout. It seems to be running much better as since the update. That was too much. I felt, I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. See, as you can tell, definitely the older generation consoles because the load time is taking forever. I'm going to leave in a bit because uh, I want to go home. But uh, but this does look, I mean, it, it doesn't look terrible. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I know I've seen the screenshots on Twitter where it just looks awful. And for, th and, and for those people I know, it's terrible. Um, but I've been mostly okay with the visuals. When I get out in the street, it looks awful. When I'm in um, story missions, it's fine. So that's where I think it'll suffer is when you're actually doing more open world exploring. is It's going to suffer visually, and then frame rate is, is worse there. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's going to be a rough experience for a while. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. 
full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Cream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Should I, should I? Why do it so much? That's what it is. Why they try to chance? They work. They work. They work. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snap the cash out, and we sell the BD to those psycho rhythms. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Plan simple. Do nothing now scan it. Don't create. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those side freaks from the studio. Gotta go. And remember. Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for what you friend tonight. Okay. Okay, right here. move on now heads up in analysis mode you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough this tech records everything every little detail even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of to see the sources of the recorded sensory signals switch to the audio layer in the editor go ahead and try that now okay good now you should see several sound signatures in the store choose one and hone in on it Okay. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Everybody. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. What now is... let's wait till the guy punches out the gun. This is the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it.
His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. All right. I mean, that was interesting. That was good tutorializing. Didn't feel forced. It felt it made sense. Right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good cause. But make uh, yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Here in a drone... Ventilation and cooling? Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Shh. 
Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Wow, champagne's decent. Does it taste boosted somehow? Just the price. The same bubbly you'll be sipping in real space soon. I said, no. Oh. They'll have my head for this. Good cause. Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand, that's the end. Move it. This time. Yeah, that's that last time. Yeah, that's that little pretty, pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, no dip. Yeah, that's a little beautiful. Focus on me. Even not on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was so fun. Highly nice candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Hey, down the back. It was pretty fun, love to hear so fast. Oh, got any candy left? Step it was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be 
Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Just a fancy ass fridge. Alright, I can't find everything. I feel bad. Whatever. I tried. Uh... Not a fan. Like, I don't know. Brain dances are okay. It's cool. It's actually definitely, um in the genre of um cyberpunk for sure so it's it's pretty awesome reminds me of the necromancer that get everything you need <laughs> yep that'll do thanks judy we got it later t-bug nice work today see you soon i'll wipe the cash on your data you were never here I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. 
You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. One sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead... Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work what then, Mr. V. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and uh, that's been way too long. But this world, even with all the bugs, still engaging, still liking it a lot. So I'll be back here soon.